Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel of Gathered Plans. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different in this video. I'm going to be organizing my character stickers. So if you've seen any of my previous videos, you might have noticed a accordion filing system to organize my stickers. And you guys, I love it. It works so well. I pull from it all the time and it's always in front of me when I'm planning. It's amazing. I absolutely, absolutely love this system. I, I'm telling you, I'm not wasting any more stickers. I'm pulling from different shops that I forgot I even had. So if you're interested in that, I will have it linked somewhere in this video. So check that out. Um, but in this video, I wanted to organize my character stickers specifically. Um, I know Helen of the Coffee Monsters Co. does this and she inspired me to do it too just because I feel like my character stickers are so thick, like I have so many. Um, the stack is just getting a little bit unbearable with all of the different shops and it's not working in the accordion because it is so chunky and I feel like um, it's pushing my accordion too much, like pushing it forward and it's also not as organized as I would want it to be. Why couldn't I say that? It's not as organized as I would want it to be because character stickers, there's so many different variations of like what it could be. It could be a sleeping one, coffee one, food one. Um, and I just don't want to forget that I have them, but I also still want to keep them within their own respected shop. So I am going to pull these. Um, I forget what these are called. I know they're like meant for like, um, flashcards or, um, like index cards. I think they're just like, um, like index card rings or something like that, you can pick up a pack of these um, at your local like stationery, Office Max, Target, Walmart, anywhere honestly. But I'm pretty sure I've gotten these just through the years in college, um, on Amazon, super easy, and they come with different sizes. Um, whoa, this one is really hard to open. <sighs> okay, I'm not about to break my nail. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, so. I think I will use the smaller ones for the smaller um, stacks and different shops that I have, but I definitely need these bigger ones for like Coffee Monsters Co. and Every Minute a Story. These stacks are pretty thick and I'm actually going to fill up on Coffee Monsters Co. stickers soon because there are some sheets that I'm like, like running out of and I need some more and Helen just came out with some new releases so I definitely got to check those out. Um, but anyways, I'm going to be using this hole puncher and I hope it works for me and it doesn't like die out on me because you guys know how sometimes hole punchers are um, can only punch a certain amount and I don't have one of the heavy duty ones so that's going to suck if it completely breaks on me. But I'm planning on um, just hole punching the corner here so that way when I want to pull my character stickers I can just kind of cipher through them and if you watch Helen of the Coffee Monsters Co. she does this and it's amazing. I know she likes it and it works for her, so I will definitely be doing this. I don't know if I'm going to include like tabs on at the side like what she does. Um, I think I'm pretty good at remembering what my collection consists of, so I will actually just, I'm going to wing it. You know, I'm just going to wing it. All right, well, I'm going to stop rambling. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I usually upload about one to three videos, sometimes four a week, depending on my mood and my schedule and... I don't know. I just love planning and I love stickers, so. <laughs> Alright, well stick around if you're interested in watching this video. Alright, so I had to use this one and a half by two inch post-it note as well as some really wide washi paper to hold it in place. Um, I need to punch a hole in the post-it note versus the actual sheet with the stickers on it because there's no space for me to really punch a hole. And this is the only shop that I've seen do this so I had to kind of think on the spot and be a little bit creative. Just be very mindful. It's a lot thicker because of the washi tape and folding the post-it notes. So just be very mindful of that when you are punching the hole. I would only do a little at a time.
Alright guys, here is the finished product, and I'm so glad I finally got around to doing this. I feel so much happier and relieved, honestly, that I can pull from whichever character's shop I want to, and I know my collection well, so I know exactly what I will need to pull. Um, so thank you, Helen, from the Coffee Monsters Co., for giving us this inspiration. I'm so excited, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!